So, what made you contact me and what problems were you having? Before Gunner, we had a lot of aggression issues uh, with other dogs. He couldn't look at another dog without growling, his fur standing up and getting crazy. He barked constantly. It never stopped. We would leave the house barking. We would go to the bathroom and close the door barking. And going out places, we couldn't take him anywhere because he would growl at people, bark at people. We'd go to my mom's house and he would have meltdowns after about an hour, laying on his back, howling, crying, scratching at the door. Everybody thought, you know, it's a completely different dog. My dad was teasing me about how, you know, that's not Gunner. That's not the same dog. We, we took him to somebody and traded him off for a dog that's already been trained. He used to pee on me. He would hike <laughs> his, Gunner would hike his leg on me. Like, oh, you're mine. Sorry. And I'll tell you what, he definitely has not peed on my leg since. <laughs> he owned us, basically. He owned us. What do you like about this training that maybe you didn't know you would like? She she got to, you know, training with him and bonding with him more. It was and exciting to spend that time with him. And now she's an avid dog person. There's, I mean, we were walking in, out of Home Depot yesterday and there was, what was it, a Labradoodle? Yeah, a Labradoodle. And she freaked out <laughs> and was like, oh, it was a cute... And she wasn't like that before no. and that has and that's I, been a lot to I, me i think what it was was the it was the training you you got to bond with him and you got to see when you put the effort in the kind of dog you can get yeah. i was at that point where i was like i can't do it with this dog but now i'm like excited to go out and do stuff with him and take him on walks and take him to the store take him to games i can do anything i want with him now and we're completely in sync. She was not a dog person. She, I don't think she ever no, had a dog I growing hated up. Dogs. She <laughs> she was a cat person, true and true. Hence why we got two, and one of them the is window. he's a showboat. He's in there trying to get some camera time. He loves camera. <laughs> but it was he was definitely mine. There was it was hands down, no, no doubt sad. about it. There was yeah, it was he you know, he could be laying on her lap, and I could be like Gunner, come here, and he would come to me. And she would call for him, and it was nothing. No. It was like she didn't exist. He still loved her, but, but it didn't matter. he was mine. <laughs> and she didn't try as hard. And then we took him to the training, and she's def I mean, it's definitely opened her eyes to dogs. Because I think what it was, she loved the puppy state. Yeah, he got too. bigger, because we didn't take him at least to what? He was two years? He was two years old. And she, it got to the point where she was more annoyed with him anymore. Yeah, every time he'd even come out to me, I'm like, just go. Like, I can't. can't you don't, you, you don't want me. You, you want to boss me around. You want to walk over me, and I just don't want to do it anymore. Well, and then we've talked about getting another dog, and um, I'm just going to send him to Lee. I want him to build a foundation because I know that it works, and we trust him, and... We, and we, we can build on that relationship with that dog when we decide, and hopefully they can be best friends. After Lee's training, it was so easy because I, before I went to work, I didn't want him all over me, you know, covering my clothes and dog first stuff like that, or going with a wet face all over the place. So uh, I, I actually taught him a new little thing where when I leave for work, I stop, I turn around at the door, and he'll meet me like halfway, and I give him two kisses on the forehead, and then he'll give me two, you know, he'll lick me twice, and that's it. He's not excessive about licking me. He'll lick me twice. He's like, okay. And it's like a good kiss goodbye. And he's not before trying to he, all over before you. Lee's training, it was like he didn't even want me to leave, refused. He couldn't. And we now it's like, okay, I'll meet you halfway for the two kisses, and then you can leave. We can trust him in the house with the furniture. We can trust him in the house oh, with God, the yeah. cats. Like, we don't have to be like, oh, we have to hurry home. Like, you know he's freaking out 
now he's yeah gone. i don't even worry we can leave him while we're at work all day and not have to worry about it like mom can you go check on him like yesterday like he's having a meltdown or something i know it he's clawed through the screen in the window or well that's like yesterday we were gone well we, we left what 11 30 mm -hmm. and we didn't get home till close to midnight and he still doesn't and he didn't jump on us like yeah. oh my gosh you abandoned me he enjoyed we came home but when when we opened that door he did not run out because we did not okay him he did not run out he didn't jump jump on us and he gave us our kisses he let us do our thing he follows us to the kitchen while we put groceries yeah away because and... before he would jump all over her, and I would have to knock, knee him try off. Try knock me down. And now it's like if I'm carrying in groceries, he's just watching me like, okay, hurry up. Hurry up. I want my hugs and kisses. To like, hurry. You know, give me attention. When you're... But he does not jump on us. He does, I mean, you could tell him, look in his eyes. He's, he wants us to hurry, but he does not but force it on us. he knows better. He knows but, that he's got to be good. And I, he respects so many more people now. It's not just me and Tyler. Her dad could not handle him because every time he was there, it, after about an hour, he'd throw a fit wanting to come home. He'd bark at and my dad. Just... After, after training, it's got to the point where her dad absolutely loves him because he's, he's relaxed, he's calm, he doesn't freak out, he doesn't tell us what to do. So it's actually got to the point where her dad actually likes to play with him, tease him, take and stuff him like outside, let him sit on the yeah. porch with him. And... I mean, people are so much more comfortable around him now because he's completely different and he's still the same happy dog. And I'll admit, like, I ain't questioned the methodology, like, a lot. Like, what is it? Like, what is actually, like, he says this word, but he says methodology, and I'm like, what, is, what do you mean? What is that? But you see it. You can see it every day. Like, it works. It is confusing at first, but it works. And, and we're what? Five months in? Five months in, and Five We've months, never and been was, happier. Yep. He's easy. It's easy to have him now. And that's like right now. I mean, it's just proof. He's not in a command. We haven't taught him to stay or to heal or to to down anything. He just, he's relaxed. He's enjoying himself. And we can get in a car door now, and he will not get in that car until I say, okay. Okay. I was raised with dogs. At my entire life, I always had dogs, and my dad always had them well trained, but it was never like this. Uh, he could tell them you'll go, the, you'll go lay down stuff like we was eating, and they would, but it was never like, like this. Beck and never, call. He's at our beck and call. Yeah, he, I mean he's him there to do for us. And he does it. Okay. The neighbors, when we lived in the apartments, would complain oh. because, you know, hey, you know, we get it. He's upset. You guys are gone. But is there any way you could try and get him to stop barking and whining? And then I think we lived in the apartments by two or three months after Lee's training, and we didn't have one complaint. And mm -hmm. I actually had a neighbor come up and said, you guys still got a dog? Or did you guys get rid of him? And I said, <laughs> oh, no, no. He's my That's baby. Sad. He's in there. And we just... We, we took him to Lee's training. We definitely could never get him to sit still like this, ever. It was constant movement, wanting to do things his way. He ate a $60 Xbox remote when he, before the training, and then he, he had nibbled on one of my other ones. I've had remote to get two new remotes. Remote. Yeah, TV <laughs> remote. I think we went through three TV remotes, <laughs> six Fire Stick remotes. Uh, since we got him back from Lee's training, Nothing. He, he don't chew on anything. No, nope, just his toys. If we give it to him and say that he can chew it, he'll chew it. But Now here he is today. He's not having a fit at all. He's just relaxed. And, I mean, completely different dog. At the point of possibly getting another dog in the future, 
I think the reason why it's so easy to think about getting another dog is because we we're happy, it. he's happy. We know how good the dogs can be with the right training. He's quiet it's and he's calm. Quiet, and yes. Collected and. Well, before the training, it was we go ten minutes up the road. If we come back, what has he destroyed? That's, that's what we asked every time we came. Well, home. it's gonna be tore up when we get yeah. home today. Knowing how good he is, we know that we have several options now. Whereas. When we went on vacation, when we decided, okay, we have that little bit of money, let's let's do what we've been talking about. Let's take him to lead. Let's get him trained. Probably after a week and a half, we took him to Menards, and I was like, I'm going to take him on a leash, and we're going to see how he acts in public. Because he was notorious for having meltdowns and barking and growling, wailing on the floor. And we took him to Menards, and he stayed in the heel when I told him to heal. He was kind to people, and... That's when it clicked, like, this, it worked. It finally worked. Now, we can leave for 10 it. hours like we did yesterday. And just and have to worry about, we did, got a potty. <laughs> yeah, we didn't worry about him once because we knew he was a good boy. And he's happy. And we come home and everything was fine. He's looking at us like, stop bragging at me, guys. And, I mean, he's just completely, completely. Completely different. I mean, because we, I mean, we made a lot of errors at first, oh, be, yeah. and it was mostly because of the failure to communicate on how we wanted to do things together. Uh, but I mean, yeah, we. Uh, it was. It was hard. It was. It was hard. I mean. <laughs> it really tried us. Getting on the same page, it was just a, well, a lot harder than I thought it would ever be. I'm wondering if there's a correlation between. You, you said it took about two weeks to get it, to get him to the point where he was respecting you. Yeah. I'm wondering if that two-week mark, you started to get on the same page, yep. you started yeah. not to make mistakes. We'd go out every night, and we would watch each other. We would nitpick every oh, single God. thing. It was horrible. <laughs> and there was times we would, you know, we'd text Lee and ask him. To, you know, we, and most of the time, we'd text Lee and ask him, Yo, if this is how it was, to, it's because we Tyler's were in an doing argument. This. Is this correct? Yeah, it, we were in an argument, and one of us had to be correct. But <laughs> we did. I think I think that two week mark where he finally realized it was time that he, you know, he realized we were putting our foots down. It was done. It was over with. The corrections were here to stay. I think that two week mark was the point where we put finally. our selfishness aside, stopped <laughs> arguing, and we realized we sat down. It's like okay. We, we got, laid the then, ground rules for us. Yeah. Because we had to have rules, too, for was, us and for Gunner. I, I think as a couple, it's a lot harder than somebody doing it by themselves. It was raising because, a kid. It was like yeah. raising a baby. All right, but, I mean, <laughs> doing it by yourself, it's much easier because it's one person doing it. I mean, it's just however you do it. But, yeah, with the two of us together, it was a lot harder for us to communicate with it than it was. I think it was more confusing at the start with him. I'm sitting down. What are you doing? What about, um, I talked to a lot of people who work with other, they do other training methods mm -hmm. and they get frustrated and quit. Why didn't you quit when you, just had to you, trust got, the process. you got frustrated? Were you seeing, what, were you seeing some results? Were you, what, what made you, even though he was frustrating you, what made you say, I'm just going to keep pushing? Yeah, like we would see, but he wouldn't like hold his stakes for very long. Like he would be like, okay, I'm going to hold it for a couple minutes, but then I'm going to do it. I'm gonna get up. I think my biggest thing was after seeing the process you made in just two weeks. Yeah, and you and working he with was him. And... Completely different dog, and you worked with him every day for two weeks. And after that, after seeing the complete difference when we came to pick him up, I was like, okay, like, he can. He do made. This. I mean, he. We've seen it done. We know it can happen. Right. Yeah. Because he just res he respected you so much that I was like, so it's possible. Yeah. And all my coworkers would doubt it, and they see him now, and they're like. There's no way that he was this dog that you told us he was. I was like... Yeah, they don't even believe it. My mom and dad saw him for the first time afterwards, and her mom and dad saw him. Like, oh, my God, it's not even the same, same dog. dog. We could take him places. Yeah? And him Where do you like go? And make a butt of himself. Where do you go with him? Um, we'll go to parks. I've taken him to ball games. Usually, we'd take him to softball games, and you'd see the ball. And have meltdowns. Yeah. Couldn't even have them at the bleachers. Taking like tractor supply. Yeah, tra we have tractor supply, Menards, Lowe's. He does so good. We'll put his leash down and no. we'll leave him at the counter while we're cashing out and he doesn't even budge. Not even people come up to pet him. 
Lee's training was definitely the best decision we made with him, with it hands down. I mean, he wasn't old, but when they say you can't teach a dog new tricks, I definitely don't believe that anymore.